So here we have Mocha, and for this week's update, you get to see him working on his place command as well as his sit stays. So we are in the town setting. This is super distracting for Mocha, but this is how we are continuing to grow and get stronger with it. So by upping the ante and adding these distractions around us will help him be able to do this even stronger in a less distracting environment. So as you see, I get him on the bed, I give him that place command, and when he breaks away, I say, ah, ah, and I put him right back on there. I want him to understand that he can't come off that bed until getting given that release word of okay. So he can sit, lay down, jump up and down on that bed as long as he does not come off prematurely. And as he did right there, I would say, ah, ah, I grab him and I positively, gently put him back on the bed. We want to keep this positive. We don't want him to associate the bed with a negative thing, but we also want him to understand that he has to follow through. So by creating some distance, walking up and rewarding him with praise and some treats, and then he listens for that release word. The reason I pick Mocha up and I put him right back on that bed is if I were to try and guide him back on there, it's going to almost take too long. And what I mean by that is he's going to forget what we were originally working on, what was originally asked of him. So to set him up for success, putting him back on the bed makes it where he understands that he ends up back there no matter what, unless he hears that word, okay. So that's why we do lots of repetition. I can't just quit and say, okay, well this time you don't have to do it and let him just run off the bed. You'll always want to end on a good note with this, even if it's only for him to hold it for two seconds, it's better than quitting and him thinking that it's acceptable to not have to stay on there and to kind of do whatever he wants. So to keep him on the right path with this, repetition and follow through are the keys to success. Mocha has grown so much throughout his training and he's doing very well with these commands. When there's distractions added, this makes it a little bit harder on him, but it will make it better for him down the road. So we had someone mowing the lawn and leaf blowing right there in the park with us. So there was a lot going on, but Mocha ended up being very successful with this little session here. And then we were able to just walk around the town and let him say hello to everybody and anybody who wanted to say hi. So I went ahead and muted the background of this video because we were at the manor on this day and we had a bunch of puppies kind of jealous in the background barking and I wanted you to not have to hear the barking the entire time. But what we are working on here is his stay. So I'll explain what it is I'm saying to him as we go through this. So I give him the sit command, I give him a flat open hand like a stop sign and I say stay. After creating distance, I use that universal release word of okay. So we'll do it again. I'm gonna get him into that sit. Getting his attention, giving him that stay, flat open hand, creating distance. And again, that release word. So I use excited tones of voice, positive mark words throughout all of this. The stays as well as the place are very, very similar commands. So the only difference is sit, stay, and down stays are structured commands. He has to hold that sit or down position. So if Mocha were to break away prematurely from a stay, I would take him back to the same spot and put him back in that same position. 
Whereas with the place command, I would just take him back to that bed as you saw at the beginning of this video. So the only difference is place is less structured. He just has to go back on the bed, but has freedoms on the bed. Whereas the stays, he has to hold that sit or down position. So if he's given a down stay and he pops up into a sit, he has to lay back down. So we just gently put him back into that position. But when we start off this command, we have him do it on his own. So if he's given a sit, he has to do that first initial sitting on his own. And then that's when I give that stay command. When he breaks away though, that's when he's put back into that sit or down position. He's doing really well with this. We had so many distractions going on here. It was a very distracting week with our outings and Mocha is thriving throughout them. So he's doing good, he is focused, and he's just succeeding with all of his training. I hope you enjoyed this weekly update of Moko working on his place and stay commands. Okay.